Hey guys, Omni here. Today we're going to be checking out a movie that I've honestly been putting off for a really long time, and that is Shin Godzilla. Now, this is the only Godzilla movie that I haven't seen, and I have heard that is one of the better ones, if not one of the best ones. One of the things that kind of turned me off from checking it out is, quite honestly, I wasn't a huge fan of the design when it came out, so I just didn't rush to go see it. And then from that point onward, despite the word of mouth, I just kind of kept putting it off, you know? And with Godzilla Minus One coming around the corner and maybe even out by the time this video comes out, I wanted to go ahead and finally check this thing out since I'm going to be seeing that one in the theater, since it, surprisingly enough, it's releasing here. Not just in the US, but actually in my area <laughs> will be actually having showings. I'm really excited for that one. So I figured I'd go ahead and cross this off my list because honestly, it is the blemish on my Godzilla record at this point, so. Let's go ahead and strap in. If you want to see the full length reaction, check it out over on Patreon or for the Marvel channel, gets you access as well. It's in watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up with the time codes for reaction the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover here on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. We got monthly Q and A's, behind scenes footage, and try to make it worth your while since you are going to waste support channel. But guys, at the end of the day, I'd really appreciate it. If you enjoy this reaction, at least leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already, because it really does help these videos out a lot. And huge shout out to the team over at Pre for helping me edit down these highlights for you guys here on YouTube. And with that all said and out of the way, let's hop into Shin Godzilla. Here we go. I've heard that this is kind of like an example of a tragedy response or disaster response. So seeing this kind of footage is honestly interesting. Gives me Cloverfield vibes a little bit. I mean, obviously not, it's not all going to be like that, but. Whoa. What was that? <laughs> was that blood? Oh. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought he was going to say it was oil, which... I could I could see that, but then he said it was a water line, which that was not water, unless that was some real disgusting ass water. <laughs> oh, ooh, there was an explosion, right? That just happened when they were investigating that boat, which cracked that underwater tunnel, letting in seawater. Which, if it got hit by that bomb, might be bleeding a little bit. Oh, yeah, shit. Look, yeah. More explosions. There's a little some some floating around out there. Or breach in the water, rather. Mm, I love how they're trying to like figure out and analyze what exactly happened with what they have. うーん、オッケー。あ、すいわつハプニングヒアー。エビデンスとして確証に至るかどうか判断しかねます。うん。オッケー。あ、すいわつハプニングヒアー。エビデンスとして確証に至るかどうか判断しかねます。うん。オッ
速やかに巨大不明生物の情報収集し、駆除、捕獲、排除と各ケース別の対処方法についての検討を開始してください。それどこの役所に行ったんですか<笑> He just wants to be involved. He just wants to feel. Oh no. It looked like, yeah, it looked like it was moving. And look at that trail of blood. Oh, uh,、um, what was that? So, I mean, again, I get it. None of them were there. But I'm sure there's got to be like actual witnesses by this point. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. What? I mean, yeah, now, now you got nothing to say. Dude, what in the world? Just like walking around face down. Dude, while they continue to deliberate, this is just falling apart in real time. I get it. I mean, you got to kind of think about the possibility of every angle and what the best approach is going to be. This is a bit of an exaggerated circumstance, but that's also the reality of ever evolving disasters, man. It kind of reminds me of. Chernobyl, in a way, though that was more deflection and neglect. Oh my god. See, what they're seeing is only what was happening when it was still out in the bay, but where it's actually out right now because of the delayed travel of information. He's already scooting up through like the living areas and stuff down these、uh, ac what aqueducts? What are those exactly? Those offshoots like that? I know a lot of places have them, mostly cities and stuff like that, but I don't know what you'd probably call it. Like, I wouldn't say it's like a river, but maybe it is.、Mm. Well, about that. Uh, sorry, he's on land. What, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. That's mildly horrifying, man. That's some nightmare fuel, to be honest. Oh, whoa. Oh. Wait, is that blood or is it just some kind of excrement from this thing? Sorry. Because that was popping out of its gills, though. Wow, yeah, man. I understand the necessity of these, these, what do you want to call it? Protocols? But it really goes to show. How much it fails to actively respond to a, an evolving, escalating situation like this, man. Wow. An evolving, escalating situation like this, man. I mean, these aren't decisions to be made lightly. I get it. But, God, what do you do? It's a no win situation right now. Oh, my God. Jeez, man. Like, what's its, what's its objective here with coming on land? If we're treating this like a, a, a creature, you know. If... Uh oh. Uh oh. It's. Oh, okay. Oh. 
しかしあれは生物です下手に刺激すると被害がさらに拡大する可能性もあります That is also very true. 駆除することができます同じ自然災害と区分しても地震や台風とは違います総理国民を守ることは大事です Also a good point If it lives we can kill it Can't kill a tornado or an earthquake But we could kill this thing Maybe I mean logically it, it makes sense But they need to make a call But I think this is going to be another mistake, the, the choice to hold back on lethality. Obviously, I carry in some extra knowledge that they would clearly not have in this world, because it's not like monster attacks in this world are a regular thing. You know, this is its own little standalone tale, so I kind of get it. But things are real out of hand right now. Uh. Uh. Oh, it doesn't even have arms. Teishi? Nanda Kuni. Oh, that sound. Uh oh. Oh, it. Oh. It's. What the hell? It just, what was that? It like altered its own reality. Biology in real time like that. Whoa. Uh oh, it's on, it's on twos now. Jeez, my train. <laughs> oh God. Wow, man, and like it's still like got that red like substance all over itself, really. Again, is it just something that it just excretes? Oh, and here exactly is the case. This is not what they were prepared for, so all this preparation is now moot. I'm, I'm sorry, this might be cold as fuck. Take this thing down now. Oh, uh... <laughs> Well, good job. Wow. I mean, yeah. Two hours and all of this happened. I mean, one would say this creature's existence is impossible as well, so wouldn't write it off completely. There it is. What's the Yep, she was right. Without proof it's radioactive, I mean, is there not enough evidence? Like, there's like literally tangible evidence. Oh, その大会は何ですか彼の情報とトレードして我々の蓄積情報をあなたに渡す第三国にエンタレージェンスは流さないじゃあ、USJAPAN、そう、ウィンウィンうーん元教授の最後の足取りです先日来UFMへ羽田
ガッツイは彼が英語で名付けていたこちらあーナイス一つだけヒットしました元教授の故郷の大土地まで God incarnate 今から60年前各国の放射性廃棄物の持ち続けたいですね利権の報告はインパクトありましたからねまさかゴジラに人類の八倍もの遺伝子情報があるジーズスそれでゴジラがこの星で最も進化した生物という事実が確定しましたゴジラは世代交代ではなく一個体のまま劇的な進化を続けている、yeah, self -mutation without generational gaps. ゴジラは生き物だならば必ず倒せるだといいんだが We don't know that actually, or whether or not we have the capability to do so. I'm something of a nuclear reactor myself. Mmm. Okay, cooling fins. That's what we're going with right now. I love how they're analyzing his biology and going into like all of the nitty gritty of this and trying to di discern, analyze the situation. Honestly, this is probably one of the most invested and interesting human sides of the story that I can recall. And most of it is just disgusting logistics and trying to figure out what the hell happened. Uh oh. Oh, what? We got people worshiping him? Oh, he's already. Uh, someone's standing a little taller, a little more firm. Oh, dude, this the theme, dude. I love how large his tail is and just kind of. I like when they do that. It gives him like a even more imposing silhouette. Now, I know a fair amount of this is CGI that we see. Has any of this actually been a suit? I'm just kind of curious, because I know I think the new one is absolutely suit-free by what I've I've seen so far, so. <sighs> his size has nearly doubled. <laughs> Evolved into his fourth form. Jeez, man, the destro- Oh my god. I don't remember how Shin Godzilla stacks up against other iterations, like on the size charts. But again, we don't know. He keeps evolving and changing. He could evolve again by the end of this. But this is the the version I remember, or at least that I think of seen, is mostly on the promotional stuff. Unrestricted weapon use. We are to do whatever it takes to keep him out of Tokyo. Again, just you gotta just do it, man. Mm. He literally sounds like you're you're shooting off a metal. Hey, I thought we had unrestricted access to do whatever the fuck we need to do right now. I thought we already did that. The guys at the military tribunal already said they had unrestricted access. What was the point of that? Was that a lie or did I misunderstand? <laughs> you know, it's always funny to me. Like, I never really think about it. Can you imagine just the perspective from Godzilla's point of view? Just like getting bombarded in the face with these little like exploding smoke bombs, basically. God, we're getting absolutely nothing out of this, which I mean is what I would expect. They're taking this pretty well right now, though. Wasn't there a version of him? Maybe, again, he's maybe he evolves into something else, but I could have sworn one of the iterations I saw, he had like a mouth on his, a face and a mouth on his tail as well. 
I haven't actually noticed that at all. I know it was like serrated before. Best case scenario? You might be making him want to get the hell out of here. Did he just throw the bridge? He also hasn't, like, used his breath at all either. Out of ammo. Ugh. Jeez, man. Love that glow. His body just emanates. Oh. They need to clear a way for the bombs that are coming. On top of that big motherfucker out there just stomping around. Whoa. Now that's a Godzilla shot right there. I love that. No, I gotta, I do have to respect that. But he also makes a point. Ahead of schedule. Uh. Oh, 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 hey. Those actually pierced, pierced his skin. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, what the? Oh, oh, he's got mandibles. Whoa. Holy shit. Oh, whoa. I loved that. The way it escalated from fire and then he condensed the, and like just condensed it into a concentrated focused beam. They're dumping more. I'm wondering if that wasn't a, 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 like a retaliatory response or if maybe it absorbed the energy from the bombs that entered his body and he had to expel it. Whoa! Ah! Oh my God. And whoa. So yeah, maybe he did need to just expel that excess energy. Maybe it. Um. Please don't tell me he's going to molt and change again. Jeez, man. Oh my god. Oh wow. So much of their leadership is MIA right now. They're trying blood coagulants. They're trying to thicken his blood as a way to kill him? Oh, 
Whoa, what the fuck? Just as I thought. It appears that Godzilla has something like a built-in phased array radar. Oh, wow. What? Ooh. Oh, whoa. One of his dorsals come came off? Oh no. Wait, what? No. <laughs> it's like literally watching a virus evolve. Wouldn't that just worsen the situation, not just because of the destruction and uh, fallout from the bomb itself, but we don't know that if that would just make him stronger. And based on our intel currently, that sounds stupid as fuck. But again, we don't really have too many other options at this point. I won't see a third bomb. あたしのそこに刺すとこないから。いや。わかりました。全員を一致します。本当にあの国は無茶を押し付けてくるんだな。この内容を知らせます。長官代理呼んでくれ。はい。東京での核兵器使用の容認もですか。<笑> こんなことで歴史に名を残したくはなかったな。戦後日本は常に他の国の属国だ。戦後は続くよ。どこまでも。うーん。だから諦めるんですか。しかし凍結手段も目処が立ち続ある状況です。最高お願いませんか。お前の
Understandably, there's so much walking and talking in hallways <laughs> in this movie, man. Gotta keep, gotta keep on the move. Keep that dialogue going. But it is a bulk of this this movie. Oh, that looks bad. <laughs> I love all the uses of these classic Godzilla tracks. Oh, they woke his ass up, though. Uh-oh. Jeez, man. <laughs> oh, they need to keep him activated to expend all the energy he's been uh, reaccumulating while dormant. Oh, whoa! He's got a tail beam! Wow. This one's full of tricks, man. But can he do the flying kick? Uh, he's he's running out of power. Oh. They're trying to bury him in the rubble to get him stationary. <laughs> <laughs> Drink up, big boy. Time for your medicine. Wow. Oh, God, I'm nervous. I know the movie's just about over, but I'm quite nervous. Uh oh. Oh, sh what? How is he recharging so fast? Oh. Do we have more? Is that, it wasn't all of it. Jeez. That's, that's one way to get him, man. Do we have more cranes? Se second wave. Okay, good, good, good. Freeze the bugger. <laughs> Damn, man. This is like a fucking video game. Phase one, phase two, phase three. Gotta beat him enough to get to your next uh, kill point. Pass the project minimum. Okay. He went limp. I was literally about to say, did it work? Oh. Fuck. What, what, what? Oh, whoa. Okay. Wow, negative 196. I would still, even after everything we've seen, still worry that this was temporary. Wow. Oh, so his radiation will at least lapse quicker than anything they've dealt with before. That's good. That's good. So at least the radioact like the radiation damage will be minimal compared to anything we might have used. Mm. 
スクラップビルドでこの国はのし上がってきた今度は立ち直れるうん You know this is seemingly unrelated but that phrase Is a the, what they've been naming a new mechanic for the next Kingdom Hearts game. France <laughs> and So he says we must learn to live alongside Godzilla. So, like, are we expecting this to be temporary? <laughs> God, this is he's this this version is so wicked. Oh, what the fuck? Hold on, I'm sorry. Those were like humanoid Godzillas coming out. They each had their own dorsal fins. It was evolving. It was, they did talk about it procreating at some point. Yeah, dude. These are like little xenomorph Godzilla human things that were starting to sprout. Ew. Now, I don't think that there's an intention to follow up on this iteration. But honestly... I wouldn't be opposed to it. This was a really good film. Like, not even just a Godzilla film, but a film. This might be... Now, I won't say it's my favorite Godzilla film. That's subjective in a, in a whole other pocket, because entertainment value definitely comes at that. But I, I might dare say this might be the best, or at least top five best Godzilla movies. We're talking about all the elements combined. Music cinematography scope scale the narrative performances all of it and like i said before like even with all the like the political babble babble and all the legalities the debates the talking and all of that i i, I found all of that extremely engaging it's just fascinating again because but this is both kind of i don't know man it, it it's like a pros and cons of the way that we have things structured the way that we handle actively involving tragedies are handled you know the fault was because of the way things are set up we couldn't respond quick enough to save the you know to mitigate the amounts of destruction to this to the state to the country to these cities you know there was so much devastation in this wake and like with the first onset attack when this thing came out initially by the time they finished deliberating and finally decided upon an action, the thing had just kind of went off all on its own. Situations were always delayed from what they were working with was different than what was actively happening. It's just the unfortunate nature of this beast, both the actual beast of this, but also the beast of real-time disaster management. You, you can critique them as much as you want as well. You can go into that as well because half of them were more than willing to just write this off as something that they couldn't confirm, but was, at least with the information they had at the moment, likely until that changed. They were willing to sell that story, sit down, pack up, go home, until it came out that that just was not the case. And by that point, they had already delayed because of they wanted that easy out answer rather than investigating like Yaguchi had initially wanted in the beginning. So there is a lot of that. You know, a lot of the way that this played out reminded me a lot of Chernobyl in that series. I reacted to it. Beautiful, haunting series, man. And very much so like this. And I know this was kind of more inspired by, I think, one of the, the reactors that had gone off in Japan, uh, I think not too long before this movie was filmed. Um, but they were able to kind of handle that situation. So, like, it was kind of inspired by that. It's also kind of a critique of pride, in a way, you know, they, they even like at one point critiqued 
uh, Japan's choice to get themselves involved with a world war because he talked about we have to think about our people and making a decision for them. Whatever they decision they make, like it affects the whole of their people. In a country that has been devastated by the the effects of man's greatest weapon. What does that mean for us if we willfully agree to allow another country to do what had happened to us before again? Like we have people today who had people who were there who experienced that, who felt that damage, who saw that destruction. That shit started to crack me, dude. And like, I don't have a direct connection to any of that either. So like, I can't imagine the way that landed or hit for anybody that may have been, had like a direct connection to any of that, let alone just be tied to the country that had to experience that itself, that devastation. And I know that they're kind of doing something very similar with Minus One. If I remember right, that movie is gonna be set like what if Godzilla attacked Japan just after World War II. I'm very curious to see how that translates and like how that kind of compares with how they handled this as well because I like how this also like it is its own kind of you know critique on radioactive uh, power and weapons themselves and the effects that will have either on us or on our ecosystem. Godzilla's kind of always been a representation of that because he formed out of Japan's very unique relationship with these things. This was just beautifully, hauntingly done from the devastation, the scale of the destruction, the response and the way everybody was debating how to do this. And again, again, I, I don't know if it's necessarily an indictment of the bureaucratic process, because at the end of the day, you do have to levy your action versus what will come out of that. You know, if they overreacted too soon, they could have caused more devastation and loss of life than they did. On the flip side of that, this was such a out of left field kind of scenario that it's almost impossible to have planned for it. But thankfully, like with The Martian, check out my reaction to that. The people who really wanted to avoid that all or nothing scenario, who really wanted uh, that scorched earth uh, approach by dropping another nuke on Japan, there was a lot of this, you know, political gaming going on with this representative from the US government who was coming in and was like, here, I'm willfully sh sharing our intel on this creature that we've gotten from this scientist that's gone missing over here. In exchange for that, we want your exclusive blah, 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 blah. It was an exchange of convenience and out of kind of selfishness is where it all started. But at the end of the day, I like that the people who were behind this all took the higher ground in the end. You know, they were levying all their options, you know, and 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 they, you know, they were hoping against hope for a lot of it, but they found their breakthroughs in uniting and reaching out to any power, any other country that was willing to help them. Like it was going beyond trying to handle it themselves. It was going beyond just, you know, fearing for reaching out for help. You know, even with the Germans, when it, we reached out to them, their own advisor was like, we're going to give them access to our our data. What if it gets out? What if they misuse it? And she's like, have better faith in your people. And that's kind of one of the takeaways that I had from this movie is like in, in like the light of great devastation or calamity that we could come together despite our borders, our boundaries, our affiliations and stuff like that and try to just be there for one another. In the end, that's kind of what happened here. You know, they got help from France, they got help from Germany, they got help from China in their supplies for delivering this coagulant that they needed, this deterrent, this alternative to this, this outcome. So rather than scorching the earth and laying waste to this land, which as we now learned that Godzilla's radiation is different than any of the known elements that we know of. And its half-life is significantly shorter so the devastation and the wake of him coming through and tearing through everything honestly will be gone way sooner than anything that we would drop on them. And that's that's another thing too. It's it's It was wild to see this whole thing escalate. I love the performances in this. I love the way everybody was treating this. I love the way that the writers and the director treated this as well. And just treating Godzilla also as this, this entity, this force of nature, this response to kind of our kind of naive approach to nature itself as well, our, our bending of those rules and laws to propagate ourself and prop ourselves up and stuff like that. You know, it's, it's really interesting. You could probably go through and dissect so much of this, 
that you could talk about it for hours and hours and hours. And there's, there's still going to be stuff that I probably think of after the fact from this initial gut reaction to this. It's just, it was just beautifully done, man. You know, despite my apprehension going into this about the redesign, about all of that, the whole like evolution thing that we ha started off with, with the, the dragon noodly one that was just running around dragging his face on everything, the way it just kind of escalated and escalated and evolved. Honestly, in the moment, God, it was one of the most imposing versions of this this design, of this creature, of this entity, and I grew to love it. Not to mention the way they really tried to ground his biology. And it's not like we haven't done that before, but I like the way that they approached it with this, from its internal mechanisms to its reproduction to its processing of if this thing was inducing this kind of a radiation, how would it do that? The dorsal fins being this external cooling source, it having to lie dormant after expelling so much energy, the way it kind of divides like a cell itself. It's just, I loved all of the scientific ways they tried to like really root this in our world, despite how fantastical it is. On top of that, honestly, this Godzilla design, like I said, from my initial response to it when I saw it initially, I was like, but it really worked, especially for what they were going for. And the way they showed the scale, the scope, the destruction, you know, it's again, not unfamiliar with Godzilla, but I think this this movie, at least from what I can recall from like recent events and stuff like that, recent iterations or any of the ones I've seen more recently, I think they did it in such a striking way, showing the destruction, showing the scale, showing the almost hopeless struggle to even put up a fight against such a thing. And yet we they persevered, they pushed forward, they garnered su support and they it overcame. It was a really beautiful movie. It was one of the most striking Godzilla films I've seen visually and everything. And again, this thing's too wild as well from the, the way it just like, and just like those beams and just shoots those lasers like a disco ball of death and then being able to shoot one out of its tail and i like that you know as it exerts that energy too and exhausts its power supply it fades it comes back it loses heat and turns back into normal fire oh man this was really fucking good like i i was wondering if this was going to be overhyped because i've seen people talk about this movie at to great lengths and like really hold this up as one of the best Godzilla movies uh, we've had in recent years, and it delivered, man. And I'm sure this might bore some people who don't like all of the intrigue, but I think the way it was directed and the way the performances really carried this film, it made every one of those scenes incredibly tense for me. Like, I was hooked. I was on the edge of my seat through every one of those things, because it really is. Like in a moment like this, when you treat it so seriously and when you treat it like this actual natural disaster that is occurring and unfolding and they're trying their best to assess the situation and make a decision that is best for the people, but also practical and trying to find where those lines are. Cause sometimes those overlap, sometimes those are gray and you just can't see them as well. Seeing the weight of all of these decisions and the way some of these decisions are being made as they're levying this information and new information. It's just, I found all of that incredibly pulse pounding. And again, I don't, this, this final inch, I have it paused on that fucking, those mangling corpse coming out of the tip of the tail, man. That is, that is one of the most haunting images I think I've seen in a Godzilla movie. And again, Godzilla as a, as a brand is so much rooted in God in, in, in Japan's uh, history as far as an allegory of their own personal experiences with the hubris of man and our need to impose our control over nature and bending it to our will, our bastardization of nature itself. This really dove into that real, real nicely. And again, I can't wait to see how they handle it with Minus One. I even seen some of the people that worked on, I think even the director of the recent legendary Godzilla film say, this is a Godzilla movie. So I'm really excited to see uh, how that movie uh, delivers, especially coming off of something as good as this. And now I know I'm talking from somebody who's not obviously in Japan or Japanese. So if I got anything wrong or if I misinterpreted anything or anything like that, I would love for you guys to tell me and call me out on it because honestly, I wanna be as respectful as possible. If I'm ill-advised in any kind of way, please let me know. I would rather own that and learn than anything else because that's the last thing I wanna do is say anything 
out of pocket or disrespectful, especially given what this series has always been about, man. Anyway, guys, what did you all think of this movie? How do you feel this stacks up in the pantheon of great Godzilla films? I'd love to hear from you guys, so sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry in the conversation after the video. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if not already. If you want to see the full length reaction, check it out over on Patreon or for Gun Merrill's channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before you go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Mandy Share, Ryan Karen, your course gone, Melita, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey Hale, Jake Contrell, Eric Official, Amy Becca, Casey Wood, and Sai. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.